This video will be an introduction to electrochemistry and electrochemical cells. So let's consider the following reaction. We have solid tin plus ions of nickel in aqueous solution. So they have an ionization state of 2 plus, they're cations. And this reaction proceeds such that we have at the end of it tin ions in aqueous solution plus solid nickel. So what we'd say during this reaction is the tin goes from having a charge of 0 to plus 2. It loses two electrons during this reaction. So that's what we would call oxidation. The tin atoms are oxidized. And the nickel ions, nickel cations, start at an oxidation state of plus 2. They gain two electrons, and they end up as neutral metal atoms. So the nickel ions are said to be reduced, or they undergo reduction during this reaction. So often what can happen here is the electrons flowing from the one metal species to the other can result in electrical work. It can result in a current of electrons which can do useful electrical work. And what we want to do is to separate these two reactions, this oxidation and this reduction reaction, to create a current which can do useful work for us, which we could use uh, for other kinds of chemical or physical purposes. So the type of setup that we can use to do so would be called an electrochemical cell. So one example of an, of an electrochemical cell, called a Daniel cell, would be the type of setup that I've got described over here. So we've got two test tubes. We've got one which is a beaker of tin sulfate in aqueous solution. We've got another which is a beaker of nickel sulfate in aqueous solution. We have a we have a metal wire which is a tin electrode over here, which is what we're going to call our anode on the left, typically always drawn on the left in our diagrams. So that's a solid tin with an oxidation state of zero. Over on the right, we've got a nickel electrode, solid nickel metal atoms with an oxidation state of zero. This is what we're going to call a cathode, which we always draw on the right in our electrochemical cells. And connecting the two of them is a wire. So electrons can flow across this wire. They're going to flow from the anode to the cathode during the forward direction of this reaction. And maybe there's some voltmeter with a wire in here. Maybe we connect this such that we use that electrical current to do some work elsewhere. Uh, whatever else goes on side, uh, not our concern from the moment. We're just con concerned that they're connected and electrons can flow this way. All right, so we have charged electrons which are flowing from the anode to the cathode. So that's a net flow of charge from, a net flow of negative charge from our, the left to the right here. So in order to balance out that electrical charge and complete this electrical circuit, what we also have connecting these two different uh, half cells, which we'll eventually call them, is what's called a salt bridge. So we have aqueous uh, potassium chloride in an agar gel where we can have the response of the potassium and chloride ions to the electron flow to keep the electrical uh, charge balanced and complete the circuit when these electrons are flowing. So since we have a net negative charge flowing from left to right, the salt bridge has to balance that out by having a net positive charge flow to the right. So what will happen is potassium ions, potassium cations in the agar gel are going to flow into our cathode and chloride anions in the agar gel are going to flow to the left into the anode, balancing out our electrical charges and completing the circuit so that our charges can continue to flow. All right, so there's a lot of terms to keep straight here. So there are some common mnemonic devices to help you keep uh, what happens at the anode and the cathode straight. So we remember that reduction is a gain of electrons. So when you reduce something, you are going to give it electrons. Nickel 2 plus plus 2 electrons goes to nickel solid. It gained electrons, and thus it was reduced. Reduction is a gain of electrons. Oxidation where we took the tin and then it produced two electrons, losing them to become tin 2 plus. Oxidation is a loss of electrons. So these two combine to form the mnemonic oil rig. Oxidation is loss, oil. Reduction is gain, rig. 
And then also we have that reduction occurs at the cathode and oxidation occurs at the anode. So whatever is going to be oxidized in the forward direction of the reaction, we put that at the anode on the left part of the diagram. Whatever is going to be reduced, we put at the cathode on the right side of the diagram. So these two together, reduction at the cathode, it says red cat, and oxidation at the anode is, is anox. So we have oil rig, anox, and red cat are the mnemonics which we use to remember what oxidation and reduction are, which one occurs at the cathode and anode. And then we have the cells where we draw our anode on the left, cathode on the right, to represent the net electrochemical reaction which is occurring due to the flow of electrons between these two ions.